This is the 2022 Hyundai Tucson Hybrid. This compact SUV has to compete against some of the biggest players in the automotive kingdom, specifically the Toyota RAV4 and the Honda CR-V. For its fourth generation, Hyundai is swinging for the fences. Look at this Tucson, it is wild. But it's one thing to let your design team off the leash a little bit. It's a whole nother to build a competitive, if not class leading compact SUV. Has Hyundai done that? Let's find out. Compact SUVs like the Tucson here are effectively replacing mid-sized sedans as America's family vehicle of choice. We can't stop buying them and manufacturers certainly cannot stop building them. In terms of Hyundai's lineup, this is larger than the Venue and the Kona, but smaller than the Santa Fe and the Palisade. Tucson Hybrid here is actually competing against the RAV4 Hybrid and the Ford Escape Hybrid. So who is this vehicle aimed at? Well, it's for families who want to take the kids to hockey practice as efficiently as possible and look good while doing so. In terms of design, I love what Hyundai is up to here. Look, here's what they said. All these little SUVs, they all look alike. We're gonna do something radically different. And even if you don't love it, I want you to appreciate what a gamble, how risky this sort of design is. And I actually think it's pretty good, but I mean, look, we have a small family vehicle with a face like that. It's awesome. Coming down the side, you know, wheels are great. I love the funky fender shape. Anything that reminds me of a Lamborghini LM002 is okay in my book but then you look at the actual side of the body and this is where the Tucson stands out. This is why it's important because if you look at a Mazda CX-5 or an Aston Martin DBX, they kind of look the same from the side. They all look alike, not the Tucson. The metalwork is radical. It, it, it's uh, just hats off to Hyundai for taking the chance with this design. I think it is so good, so sharp. D pillars, pretty cool. The, the rear is actually the most conservative part of the vehicle, even with those like double fang taillights. But overall, I love just the boldness that Hyundai is showing with the design of the new Tucson. For as radical as the exterior of the new Tucson is, the interior is kind of conservative. I'm not saying it's not nice. It's just a bit, I don't know, dull, drab. I'm just saying, I don't know, the two don't look related. But what is here is, is really good. I mean, I love the different materials, leather, some cool fabric. The bright work is amazing. Look at these lines coming out of the vent and they flow down here. So they're working in multiple dimensions, which is, you know, it's just unexpected in this segment. I really like that design. Um, I also like the nav screen a lot. Look at that, it's the right size, it's bright, it's legible. Also, that's the default screen. So it's not screaming at you the way so many other infotainment systems do. When you wanna get into it, you swipe, boom. Again, bright, looks good. They did a great job there. They did a bad job by getting rid of the volume knob. What were they thinking? Even Honda, who after a decade of refusing to have one, has finally began putting it back into their vehicles. Here you got touch controls will live, but they just never work that well. And I guess there's a steering wheel button, but man, there just should be a knob right there. Anyhow, seating position. It's pretty good. It's a little cramped, but I, you know, I feel like I'm in a compact CUV a crossover. Uh, the binnacle here intrudes into my right knee a little too much for my liking, but you know, nothing terrible. Back seat is rather spacious. And unlike a lot of hybrids where the battery eats into the storage space, Hyundai's done a great job of having plenty of space, especially with the seats folded down for all your stuff. Normally, when you're talking about compact SUVs, there's not much of a performance tale to tell. And if we were talking about the non-hybrid Tucson, that would be true. However, with the hybrid, you get a 1.6 liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder engine that, when combined with the electric motor, creates 226 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. It's all-wheel drive, so it's actually pretty quick in a straight line. 
If there's a low point to the story, it's that for various reasons, it only comes with a six speed automatic transmission, which, you know, hurts the efficiency a little bit. However, it does have torque vectoring. So meaning, you know, as you're turning left and right, it'll send power to the wheel that needs it, which makes it pretty good to drive. The same cannot be said of the non hybrid Tucson. It can also tow 2000 pounds, not a lot, but you know, enough to move a jet ski or a small trailer down the road. The real story though, is the efficiency. This vehicle for as big and as heavy as it is, can get 37 miles per gallon around town and 36 MPGs on the highway. Not class leading, but pretty good. As far as safety goes, Hyundai has done a great job of making the 2022 Tucson very safe. And by very safe, I mean it gets a five-star crash rating and the IIHS has called it a top safety pick plus. That's their highest rating. It comes standard with all sorts of automatic safety features, blind spot monitoring, lane keeping assist, all that good stuff. But most importantly, it's got a 360 degree surround camera. So it makes parking a snap. How much? You can get in to a Tucson hybrid for just over $30,000. For a vehicle like this one with every bell and whistle, you're talking 38,500 bucks. How does that stack up against the competition? The Ford Escape Hybrid is a little bit cheaper. It's about $1,000 less base price. And for the fully loaded version, it's a lot less, coming in at under $35,000. However, the uh, Ford is not quite as nice as the Hyundai is on the inside. This does seem much more pegged to the Japanese competition. It's a little bit more expensive than the Honda CRV Hybrid, but it seems to be completely tied to the price of the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. And remember, that one is the segment leader. If there's one thing I want you to know about the 2022 Hyundai Tucson Hybrid, it's that Hyundai has done an excellent job. Look, it used to be that you would only shop for a Hyundai because it was cheaper than the competition, and I'm talking in more ways than one. But now, as we've learned, they're pricing it just like the competition, only I would argue building a much better vehicle, especially compared to the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. Think about it. You have this excellent looking exterior. You have a near premium cabin. It makes a lot of power. It's pretty good to drive. It's very fuel efficient. Look, if you're thinking about replacing ye old family sedan with the new family crossover, I think you should strongly consider the Tucson Hybrid. To check out our latest vehicle rankings, go to motortrend.com slash cars.